Okay, this is the continuation of phase two. Sorry about that, had a phone call. Okay, so I have discovered that the cause of the clattering noise is not actually uh, from the ball joints. They may not actually be as bad as I think. That's good, it's still shaky, but that sway bar being loose totally explains the instability I've been getting, and uh, yeah. So okay, I think this is warmed up enough. I'm gonna shut her down, let her cool, smoke a cigarette. Then I'm going to uh, open up the oil tap below, drain it out. Then I'll come up here and uh, get the belt and the filter. So, yeah. So right now we'll get some uh, before audio. I'm gonna point the microphone toward it, so have some glove. You can hear it chirping, chittering and you can hear the tone, plus the uh, hum of the power steering, which will always hum. Oh, let's inspect the brake fluid while we're here. Yep. Seems to be good, good deal. I'm telling you, man, this truck, everything on this truck will just work as long as you keep it up. It's great. Brake fluid on a cigarette. Stick it in my mouth. That stuff's gross. Brake fluid melts car paint, by the way. Some people know that. Some people don't. This beast right here, while I'm waiting and smoking here, give that a second. Got these seat pads because this needs reupholstered. It's collapsed. There's supposed to be a lumbar support in here. I think there's an airbag that fills in, but it's all the way down here. So, this is all springs are sprung, huge dent. Part of this is for me hopping in and out doing papers. Before this, uh, I had a, a large impact at the parts store. I was going in for oil change or something a couple years ago. Actually, it's been a couple years. That's so funny. Um, I was going in for a... Uh, like an oil change kit or something, getting all this stuff. And I was pulling into the parking lot and I had this pothole. Ooh. They're howling. So there was this huge pothole and uh, I pulled in and I had my wheels turned to the right um, as, uh, you know, pulling into the parking spot and this huge pothole was right where the car stopped. Like it had dug itself out in a puddle or something, or I don't know, but it was, it was deep. And it hit so hard that my power steering popped. So like my gearbox broke and my um, ignition switch and shifter tube all have issues. So basically it would be tearing apart the entire inside of the steering wheel and the, the ignition switch too. Uh, to fix that part, I replaced the, the, the gearbox. A very gracious neighbor up the road, a couple miles that uh, I'm by my firewood from. Down there, you can see that thing with all the. Right there is the where the steering linkage goes into the gearbox. That's the gearbox down there. This guy has a automotive repair. Oh my gosh, cord stuck. This guy has an automotive repair pit built into his garage floor. That's, uh, I think the, yeah, it's about a four or five foot pit. And so I pulled the truck in over top of it and was standing on the floor, pushing upward, like at full, full extension height to put that gearbox in instead of being on the ground underneath. Um, it probably went a little more smoothly that way than otherwise. All right, so cords all wrapped around everything here. Ridiculous. Terrible production value. Green flash. I don't know what those mean. I don't know if this is an issue with the phone or a, a data thing or just an interference or what.
So what it is, yeah, the steering thing has a, an issue. So there's a position just before operating. You can shut the engine off to this position, and everything is completely off, and you can shift into neutral and then start the truck and then go into gear and drive. But if you're in park and you start the truck, it will not shift because the key position does not work correctly. So and it's kind of an anti-theft thing in a sense. If people don't know about it, just can't. But then they're going to end up like breaking my shifter knob handle off or whatever. So um, that needs done eventually. There's a lot of stuff. This, this truck has been through its paces. This uh, was a 179,000 mile truck when I got it about four and a half years ago. About four years ago, I think, um, I put 10,000 miles a year or more on this truck. I'd say, well, let's, let's see, what was it, 179, and we're at 238. So, yeah, I put six, almost 60, I think. Is that what that is? Something like. Anyways, the, uh, oh, my belt has come undone. That's what the problem is. Did I break that one, too? Son of a bitch. Broken belt. Why does this keep happening to me? I'm too active. Cheap shit. Radical. <sighs> Bald tires, need to get those done pretty soon too. That's, it's all, the, the problem is, is the job I've been doing is, I, it's very lucrative, but it's very hard on the vehicle. And so the amount of maintenance that I've been doing and upkeep on this has been astronomical, but I make enough money to make it worth my while all the same. However, I'm glad to be doing this new thing because it makes about the same amount of money, but for far less amount of, of vehicular wear and tear. So I'll be able to get this thing fixed up. Driving on good back tires. I don't know if you can see them, but back tires are great, but these guys. I'll tell you what, though. If you see that saw blade pattern with the Goodyear, that means Kevlar. So, yeah. Um, I think it's time to bust it open down there. All right, we're moving on to phase three, which is oil change and uh, belt and filter, so sayonara for the moment.